Hey there, fourth graders. If you are watching this video, it means that you may have had a little bit of trouble with yesterday's daily warm up on expanded form. So what I'm going to do is work through one more problem with you just to make sure that you are really understanding what you need to do as far as expanded form goes. Um, so if you looked at the problem that you saw right before this video started, you saw that the question asked, which represents this number? And you had four choices. I'm going to tell you very, very often in math, I don't even look at my four choices right away, especially when it comes to forms of numbers. What I like to do is think for myself, how would I solve this? Or what answer would I get to all on my own? And then I double check my answer with the answer choices. I just like to see if I can do it on my own first. So that's what we're going to do here. So you have the number 83,046. And the question is asking you which of the choices represent this number in expanded form. So as you should remember, hopefully you do, from third grade, expanded form basically just means exactly what it says. We are taking that number and we are expanding it out or stretching it out. And so in order to do that, we are looking at the value of every single digit in that number, okay? Now remember, often we start on the right side for math, but when we're doing expanded form, we actually start on the left. I like to start with my largest place and work down from there. So we're gonna start here. My first digit is an eight. So all I'm going to do is simply write, let me, in fact, let me change my color since I already wrote in green. Let's do it in black. So eight is my first digit. I'm going to write eight over here, just like this. Now I know that the eight is in the ten thousandths place. So that means that my number, my digit has to have a value in the ten thousandths. Since it's an, it is an eight, it means that the value is 80,000. And so that's how I'm going to write that digit. I'm going to simply write the value of the digit. As a little tip or a hint, if you count how many digits come after that digit in your number, that will tell you how many zeros you need in that value. So for example, after the eight in my first number, in my main number, there are one, two, three, four digits. That means that the value of that eight has four zeros after it. So one, two, three, four. There we go. All right, now when we are doing um, expanded form, we're taking values, but our end result has to be the same thing. So that means we're taking these values and we are adding them all together. So after this first value, I am going to put a plus sign. And then I'm going to move on to my second digit. My second digit here is a three. So I'm simply going to drop the three. And because it's in the thousands place, I know that that three has a value of 3,000. That means three zeros after the digit. All right, moving on. My next digit is a zero. You learned that zeros are very important. In fact, you'll see a little more of that today. They're very, very important, even though they have a value of zero. They're there for a placeholder and we need them. However, we do not need to include them in expanded form because we learned that anything plus zero is going to give you that same number. So we don't have to include it in our expanded form. So we're just going to skip right over that zero. I'm going to come to the four. Remember, I put a plus sign and then I write that digit. Since the four is in the tens place, it has a value of 40, and I can check myself by looking. There's one digit after the four, which means I need one zero after the four. And finally, I have one digit left that I'm going to add here. It's a six, I'm gonna drop that six. Since it's in the ones place, it simply has a value of six, and we can check ourselves. There's no digit after the six, therefore I don't need to put a zero after my six. So the expanded form of 83,046 is 80,000 plus 3,000 plus 40 plus 6. So if you look here at your choices, or at, you can't see mine obviously, but if you look at the one that you saw at the beginning of the video, we can compare 
A says 80,000 plus 30,000, so we know that it is not A. B says 80,000 plus 3,000 plus 400 plus 6, so we know that can't be our answer. C says 80,000 plus 3,000 plus 40 plus 6. We're pretty sure that might be our answer, but let's double check. D says 80,000 plus 300, so we know that that cannot be it. Therefore, C is the correct answer for today's intervention problem. I hope this helps you out and, and helps you to understand um, expanded form a little bit better. If you have any more questions on this, please let me know. Uh, send me a Schoology message and we can work further on this so that you can understand it. Have a great day.